or Moo. You can just call me Millie Moo. And I've got a video for Hey guys, what's up? It's Millie Moo back with you. And today my video for you is going to be Bible Talk. And I'm basically going to be talking about your time alone with God, how I do my time alone with God, um, tips, and anything like that. And this is actually a really spontaneous random video because I actually wasn't going to post a video this week. Um, and it's like kind of later at night. And so I um, spontaneously decided to do this video. Um, and I was like, you know what? I need to do this. I need to tell them. I need to do it. So I decided to because I wasn't going to post a video this week because I just haven't had time in the weekend. And I'm doing a spring break video next week. And the Bible talk video should have been next week, but I moved it back a week. So, anyways, that's why this is random. And ignore the fact that I'm in my pajama shirt and not makeup on, but this is spontaneous and God is good. So we're going to keep on doing it. So I'm going to start with talking about the Bible because. When you're talking with God, this is where you always need to come back to the Bible. Because these are your basic instructions. Um, and this is where you can refer back to and you can, like, it's God's scriptures. And you can learn so much. And I've learned a lot through reading the Bible. Right now I'm reading through Isaiah and I'm learning a lot. And I haven't learned everything that I need to know because I haven't read the entire Bible. I hope eventually I'll read the entire Bible, but it won't be entitled and soon. But um, there's definitely Bible studies or, like, actual Bibles that you can buy. Anyways, um, so that's kind of like what I say is like you really just need to always read your Bible because this is definitely the starting point is reading your Bible. Um, next thing I would say is finding a book to read. Starting in the Gospels is always good because it really talks about um, your salvation through Christ. It just talks about Christ, his birth, and everything like that. So it's really good to read. Um, like I said, I'm reading through Isaiah, but also if you're struggling with something, the Another really good thing to do is to go in the back of your Bible, if your Bible has it, and find a word like happiness. If you need happiness, turn to page 815, and then you can read about happiness. So that is really helpful for me. Um, I do that sometimes. The next thing is devotions. I have this 365 Daily Devotions by Teen Girls for Teen Girls. And so what I like about this is it's by Teen Girls. So there's also one for boys, by the way. But it's by a teen girl who has, like, let me pick a topic. Um, prayer. So she's writing about prayer. And so you just see that there's somebody who might have struggled with something. And they're writing about it. And they have Bible verses for it. And they have an outcome. And they kind of, and like, you can kind of relate. So that's what I really like about it. Um, and so it is very, very cool. So I definitely would recommend maybe getting this you know i really like it and there's also like jesus calling another great great book um and so i read that every night after i read my bible um the next thing is journaling which i have a couple journals and some of them i can't find but this is my first journal and this is kind of where i journal when i go to camps or retreats or anything and i have of course more stuff in here my stuff stuck everywhere so i really enjoy journaling journaling because you can get your thoughts out but the main one is this one right now, and it's not that big. But um, I basically kind of write my thoughts out to God. Sometimes I write my prayers. Sometimes I write my struggles or where how my day was or something good that's going on. I might say, like, God, I need your help. And so one thing, the good thing in the journal is you can look back and you can see, like, oh, that's where I was struggling. And, uh, and then you can go here and, like, oh, but look, there's an outcome. So that's what's really good about journaling is you can kind of look back and see your improvement you can see like wow I really was trusting God there and oh wait I prayed for that right there and look there was an outcome down here so that's what's really cool about journaling I would definitely recommend journaling you know it's amazing um the other thing I forgot to talk about was um like highlighting in your Bible I like doing this because um, I can kind of like flip through and see like oh well there's a verse that I need to remember um, like here's one, Psalm 9, 1. I will give thanks to you, Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of all your wonderful deeds. So I can flip through my Bible and I can see that verse and I can remember like, huh, you know, I read that and I highlight, highlighted that. So always have some pins and pencils, um, at the ready. And the last thing I'll be talking about is note cards. So basically I have taken note cards and placed them around my room or even in places in my house because I think seeing daily reminders walking through is really important. So I'll show you one. So um, I wrote this one, Psalm 3130, Charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. 
So I put this beside my bed towel. I can't talk, guys. I put this beside my bedside table, and every time I wake up or lay down, I can kind of look at it and, like, say, yeah, like, that's really important. I've talked about the bubble first before, so. Next one is, um, James 510. I put this in my bathroom, or me and my brother's bathroom, and it says, don't grumble, grumble against one another, brothers and sisters, or you'll be judged. The judge is standing at the door. So I just thought this was a reminder to me, my brother, to, um, be kinder and uplifting. And this is, these have been up for a very long time, so I've got to update. And the last one is this. It says, Jesus is coming back. I was listening to Kayla one time, and they were like, it was, I forgot who was talking, but he was like, put a sign that says Jesus is getting, coming back. And I really like this, because this gives me a lot of hope. Um, the last thing is just kind of like maybe writing down your prayers and putting them somewhere. This one is called a prayer wall, and this is all mine for my prayer wall, but I took it down because I'm going to put a bulletin board up. But um, I think that's really important because you can just kind of like write down your prayer request and like you can even go back the next day and pray again that same prayer. Um, so I just think that's kind of cool. So that's basically it. The last thing I would say is mus music. I love listening to music, y'all. She likes to light in the dark And the smiles can't conceal you so, if you want slow music, Bethel, okay? But, if you want upbeat music or country, I got you. Easy, Crowder. Okay, guys, that's basically all for my video. I'm sorry it was so random and scattered and everything but I really hope it kind of helped y'all maybe if you kind of want to start your time alone with God or need some help or an inspiration or just learning some things about how I do my time alone with God. I really hope that this helped you guys and be excited for a spring break video coming up soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love y'all.